I am filled with immense pride as I accept your inaugural Alumni Excellence Award. It's a huge honor considering my improbable journey. After the massacre, we wandered Sudan for years, moving from one town to the other, searching for an elusive peace and dodging Antinor bombs from the sky. In 1995, we relocated to a refugee camp in Kenya, where I enrolled in primary education. In a separate refugee camp in Kenya, people found ways to save heavens in Canada, Australia, and America. My cousin fought for a visa, and he eventually brought me to Canada. By the time I was admitted to Royal Roads in 2009, after completing journalism diploma from Grand McEwen in Edmonton, I was eager to step out to the real world and begin my work. Nonetheless, I was mindful that I needed the right tools to be effective in my career. Royal Roads grounded me in theory and the necessary practical experience to succeed as a journalist. Although I bonded very much with members of my cohort, I appeared unconventional and unpredictable. My social life was limited. I'm not sure I was even likable by the time the program ended. <laughs> Yet what I failed to articulate to my teachers, to the students at the time, was that I was torn between Sudan and Canada. I carry a burden of history. After seeing my uncle leave for the battlefield for the last time, after losing my dad and all my dear relatives who paid the ultimate sacrifice for the liberation of the Republic of South Sudan, I was never going to be creative about which path to follow. It was charted out for me in a trail of blood. I feel obligated to follow in the footsteps of my poor viewers who wanted to end oppression. I want freedom of speech in my country. I want prosperity for my village and for my country. That is why I woke up in the morning and I shouted, wake up Juba, wake up to the injustices around you, wake up from sleep because we have to build this new nation, this baby nation. Horia Deri Shokol, freedom needs work. The road to a democratic South Sudan will be long and full of thorns, but I am hopeful. I am hopeful that a nation that sacrificed millions of its souls to attain independence will let freedom ring. While I look to the future, I want to remember the past. And in doing so, I want to dedicate this award to my mother who since my father's death and after losing uncles who were charged with caring for her, told me as her eldest son to man up and become somebody in the future. Because of Royal Roads, I can now say, weep not mother, our future is no longer in the future, it's now. Thank you.